Hello everybody, welcome to another broadcast of Today Christians Speak. I am Tony Coleman, the host of this program, and today I have a special guest. I told many of you in times past that we would be having people come on the show to represent what Christ is doing for them. And who I have on the show today is Janice Simon. Pastor, the Lord. Evangelist, Evangelist Sam Simon. Simon. I mean, I'm sorry for that, but Evangelist Simon, and she is going to be with me on the set, helping me to lift up the scriptures. We're not here to sing. We're not here to dance. We're not here to offer you any books. We're not here to offer you uh, uh, people who are well noted. We are here to offer you the gospel of Jesus Christ and what he said and not anybody else. So with, with that being said, let me introduce you once again to Evangelist Janice Simon. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord. Yes, I am Evangelist Janice Simon with Christ for Life Ministries. And I truly thank God for this opportunity to fellowship with my brother in Christ, Evangelist Tony Coleman. Is that right? Evangelist is your title. Is that right? It's Evangelist. Praise Amen. Praise the Lord. So it's an honor and privilege to, um, to speak on behalf of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I would truly like to apologize to many of you if you're watching us live by Facebook. I forgot to hit the button that put our faces on live so you might have seen a black screen but after this program is over with we actually recorded it so when we edit it we will repost it back on Facebook in the edited version so again I would like to apologize for that but right now as uh, before we get started I usually like to give honor to God the Creator the God that created all life Yes. For everything that you see and you don't see was created by him and him alone. And then I like to honor his son, Jesus Christ, who died and shed his blood that all men might have a right to eternal life. Yes. And guess what? Janice and I are one of those that have received that gift. And I thank God for the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost power that was sent down from heaven that is dwelling in the heart of the earth, living in the hearts of those that would receive him. And I never have to say, send down the Holy Ghost yes, because amen. he's already here. He's already so when here. people say that particular thing, they are really ignorant to the fact that when Jesus left, he sent the Holy Ghost down to be the representative of him. Yes, amen, amen. Yes, he did. So I usually honor God, especially because he is first before all things. Even when I get up in the morning, yes. God is first. Yes, yes. So, but we have a particular thing we want to talk about to the world. Janice and I, a couple yes. of weeks ago, were talking about this very serious matter that the church world refused to talk about. Yes, yes, amen. There are very few messages that people would even bring up talking about being born again. Yes. So we want to get right into this, and Janice, Evangelist Janice, will uh, start this conversation off, and you get your Bibles and follow, follow us along, because we need to take you for a ride that you've never been on. Amen. Amen. Amen, Evangelist Tony. So um, tonight, um, uh, today actually, we're going to be talking about how, how you must be born again. 
So um, I was looking at John 3, 1 through 3, where Nicodemus, who was a ruler of the Jews, had, um, he acknowledged Jesus as being a teacher, but he had not acknowledged him as being the only way to the Father and the only way to eternal life. So when Jesus, um, in John 3 and 3, said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God, that just resonated in my spirit. So I just want to ask this question on today. I'd like to start with this. What does it mean to be born again? What did Jesus mean when he said that? So when I thought about it and did my research, to be born again doesn't mean that you go back into your mother's womb for a second birth. That's right. But it's referring to a new birth spiritually. Amen. It's not a physical rebirth. Amen. It's a spiritual rebirth. Yes. And what does that entail? It entails a drastic, which means a strong, a radical change yes. in the heart. Amen. To be born again is to have a new nature. Yes. New principles. A new way of living, yes. new affections, and new aims. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. You put down, when you're born again, you put down your agenda and you take on the agenda of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Did that you want so to true. comment on something before I go on? Yes, I would love to. Thank you, Janice. Yes. It is an honor for me to sit next to such a fantastic lady who believes in the gospel of Jesus yes, Christ. Yes. Now, I would like to add on that that is the first, the first and only thing that you should do in the beginning before you start what some call their Christian walk. Yes, amen. You cannot become a Christian except you are born again. Yes. Just yes. going to church, and putting away some things and you still have the nature that you had before you said you were born again does not get it because you will do some things right but that old nature is going yeah. to come out yes, so that yes. is the first and foremost thing that you must do is to be born again yes 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 very good very good I agree with that evangelist Tony so um going on this rebirth or change that takes place on the inside in your heart in your spirit through a supernatural or divine act of God constitutes new life to your soul that means new life to your mind your will and your emotions not through any actions of your own but through Jesus Christ through the Holy Excuse Spirit me. I'm sorry yes. I'm sorry it's okay and that reminds me of 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, which says, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Doesn't that sound great? To just become a new creature in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So be, I began to ask this question. Why is this second birth necessary? Why is the second birth necessary? Why is it necessary for us to be born again? Hallelujah. Well, by our first birth, we were corrupt, born into sin, in other words, because of Adam's fall. So that's why this second birth, this new birth, is necessary. Hallelujah. So the next point is, what is required for this new birth? What's required for it? Number one, you have to confess, which means admit that you are a sinner. First John 1 and 8 says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Amen. And the truth is not in us. And then Romans 3 and 23 says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So that's the first thing you must do. Confess your sins. Amen. Hallelujah. And the next thing you must do is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That means accepting his death and resurrection as payments for your sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Christ died for our sins according to Romans 5 and 8. So we can be assured by faith that our sins are forgiven and we are cleansed. 1 John 1 and 9 says if we confess, 
our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. So we confess our sins. We accept Jesus Christ and the finished work of the cross. Yes. And then we repent. Hallelujah. Amen. Repent. What does that mean? That means you turn from your sins and turn to Christ. Luke 13 and 3. Jesus said this. I love it. He made it very clear. Except ye repent, ye shall all perish. Amen. Hallelujah. Would you like to chime in on something I, I said? I definitely would. Amen. <laughs> You're doing a great job at Praise exposing the, the devil. Yes. Now listen, the reason, one of other the reasons, and I agree with everything she said, but I'd like to add something. You cannot call yourself a child of God without being born into the family of God. Yeah. You cannot separate the two. I was born in the Coleman family. Yes, yes, yes. And my last name is Coleman because my father's name was Coleman. All right now. Now, in order for me to call myself a child of God and to inherit the kingdom of God, yes. I must be born into Mm, and by I his spirit, yes. without being born again, you cannot be called a child of God. Amen. You can't separate them. They come together as a package. Yes. And then the scripture says that there are children of God and then yes. there are children of the devil. Mm, and you've got right. to know the difference That's between powerful. the two. When I was a sinner, yes. I lived for the devil. Amen, amen. Amen. I did all kinds of filthy, nasty. I said words out of my mouth that I knew not to say. Yes. But because I didn't have the power within me not to mm. say them, I would yes. say them. Yes. Yes. If yes. you slapped me, I would call you a name and knock your head off. Mm. But all after right, the new birth came, something happened on the inside, inside. Yes. that gave me this power because the guy cussed me out and I mm. looked at him like he was crazy. Mm. Didn't say a word to Praise him God. and he couldn't understand that. Because of that change. Because of the change. Hallelujah. The power of God is within you. Now, if the power is in there, that means you have the power of love. And the power of love is greater than anything yes. you could encounter yes. in Hallelujah. earth. Now, does that mean because you have the power of love that you stop telling the truth and let people do what they want to do? Oh, no. Definitely not. But that's another subject. We're talking about getting born again. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for that, Evangelist Tony. So our next point, what does becoming a new creation in Christ entail? Well, it entails, as our Brother Evangelist Tony alluded to, putting on Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Galatians 3 and 27. I love the way the Apostle Paul expresses that being baptized into Christ means having an intimate, which means a very close relationship Amen. with Christ. That's right. How do you do that? By putting on Christ, which means becoming more and more like Christ. That's right. And we do this by getting to know Christ through studying God's word. Yes. Are you in the word of God? Are you studying the word? Are you meditating on the word so that it gets into your heart, into your spirit? to the point where it becomes so much a part of you because now you've become this new creature that you can respond to the devil's uh, temptations and tests and trials as Evangelist Tony just gave yes. that example of. You can respond in a, a holy way, the way Christ would respond. Yes. Hallelujah. And then I want to just share this scripture. Romans 13 and 14 tells Ooh. us, when we put on the Lord Jesus Christ, Come on now. we seek to please the Lord by being led by the Holy Spirit Amen. rather than fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Amen. Amen. I love Amen. that word. Hallelujah. I thank God for the word. Amen. The word of God is quick. That means it's alive. It's powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God that we can become new creatures in Jesus Christ, through the word of God, putting Amen. on Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Evangelist Tony, would you like to add to that? Yes, I would. Now, in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, yes. it clearly reads like this. Get your Bibles and follow along. Because yes. we're not just saying something and concocting something out of our mind. We have word of God that supports the very things that we say. Yes. Because without God, we're nothing. Yes. And yes, without yes. his word, we would be just like you if you're not living like God. Hallelujah. Now, let me read this real quick. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if any man, it said any, any man, man, hallelujah, be in Christ, yes. be in, in Christ. Christ. The only way you can get in Christ is to be born again. Hallelujah. I have to clap there. He Thank is a Jesus. new creature. Yes. Old things. Now that's where some people are getting in trouble. Mm. Because they're carrying their old things into what they consider a new life in yes. Christ and calling it God. But the scriptures is against that. Yes. It says old things are passed away, Amen. meaning they are gone. Yes. You don't have them anymore. Amen. You can only operate like that unless you have the power of God living on the inside of you yes. that changed that mind, emotion, and will to his way. Yes. yes. And it says, behold, all things, all not things. some things, but all all things are become new. Yes, yes. Now, if you cussing out of your mouth All right now. and you said you was a believer, I'm sorry, that is the old man. Yes. If you are still rapping to the women, men, and cheating on your wives, All apostles, right. and doing things that you shouldn't be doing, Hallelujah. elder, then you are in the old way yes. because if that's something you did before you got the spirit of mm. God you cannot continue in those things let me go to one other scripture real quick yes, because as I'm talking to you the Holy Ghost put stuff in my mind yes. and right now we go to Romans 6 and 1 now yes. watch this what shall we say then shall we continue in sin that grace may abound the 6 and 2, Romans 6 and 2 says, God forbid. Yes. Yes. How shall we that are dead, how can a dead man move? Mm. He has no life oh, to move. That's good. That's good, evangelist. That's Tony. a dead man. Yes. You yes. can't you can't go to the graveyard and tell a dead man to get up except God give you the power to resurrect it. You Just like it. in the book of Ezekiel. Yes. When he told Ezekiel, go say unto those bones. Yes. And told those Ezekiel dead bones to get up and yes. move and live. Hallelujah. Well, that's what happens to you when you're born again. Yes. The dead works that you had, you are done. They are dead now. When yes. you come to Christ, he make you alive in yes. him. Yes. You become alive in a new way of living. Man that cheated, don't cheat no more. A man yes. that stole, he don't steal no more. Yes. A man that cussed, he don't cuss no more. Amen. A man that lie, he don't lie no more. Because the scripture Amen. says, though you lie, you don't lie no more to nobody. Yes, yes, yes. So Amen. when you become a new creature, you're dead to sin. Now, will you make a mistake? Absolutely. Of course. Of course. Yes, yes. Absolutely. But what happens is because you have the love of God into you, you get on your knees yes. and you repent oh, before yeah. God. Yes. And God will wash that thing out of you. And yes. he never called his people sinners. Mm, amen, amen. How can you be a sanctified sinner? That don't even sound right. Amen. 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 Because if you've been sanctified, you've been cleansed, and you've been set apart. Set Hallelujah. apart. That's right. For the kingdom of God. That's Hallelujah. right. Amen. So, yes, to be born again. Hallelujah. I love this topic, Evangelist Tony. Um, it just entails just accepting what Christ has already done. Hallelujah. In your heart so that you can become that new creature. How many of you really want to be new creatures in Christ? There's nothing like it, hallelujah. Amen. And as I was listening to Evangelist Tony speaking on how you take off the old and put on the new, I thought about the old Janice Simon, 
versus the new and improved. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Following the Holy Spirit Amen. instead of my flesh because I too was one who was led by the flesh before I was born again yes. into the kingdom of God. There was a change that took place in my spirit man. Hallelujah. And I thank God because without the power of the Holy Spirit, saints, we cannot live our lives as new creatures in Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And when I think about the goodness of the Lord and how Jesus sacrificed for us, how can we not accept this gift of new life, of eternal life, hallelujah, being a new creature, being free from the bondage of sin and shame? Amen. Amen. Oh, that's a reason Amen. to shout right Amen. there. So today we're talking about being born again. Amen. And I want to say that as new creations in Christ, saints, we should see ourselves as the righteousness of God yes. in Christ Jesus. Amen. As we become new, hallelujah, Amen. we have to see ourselves as new. We have to walk it. We have to talk it, live it, hallelujah. And we are, you know, I think about being motivated by the word of God, <clears throat> excuse me, that tells us in 2 Corinthians 5 and 21 that we are the righteousness of God Amen. in Christ Jesus. Righteous being, meaning being in right standing with God, not because we're so good, but because of what Christ did on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Would you like to jump in there? I you sure Tommy? do. You know, as she was talking, you know, the Holy Ghost will speak to you. Yes. And he's not going to speak anything separate from his word. Amen. Amen. Now, as she was talking, you know what came to me about being a new creation oh, in Christ? Hallelujah. Many of you celebrate Christmas. Mm. Go ahead, teach. And you grab that tree and mm. you put that tree in your house. Yeah. Now, pastors who read the Bible know that the book of Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, says, Learn not the way. Let's go there real quick. Yeah, let's, yes, yes. Let's go. Let me pull it up on, in here. Uh, and I, I, we, I did not come here with that in my heart to say over the air. Amen. But like I said, as I'm, as she's speaking, sometimes the Holy Ghost is talking. Yes. Let hallelujah. me read this, the tenth chapter of Jeremiah, first verse, and I'll read down. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, not Lord, me, not Janice. This is. Jeremiah telling the people what God said. Now you preachers are supposed to be doing this if you're supposed to be uh, uh, born, again, born again, not of flesh, but of the will of God. Yes. And it says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the, dismayed at the sounds of heaven, for the heaven are dismayed at them. Yes. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut at a tree, out of mm -hmm. the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Mm -hmm. They deck it with silver and gold, mm -hmm. with gold. They fasten it with nails, with hammers, that it move not. Mm -hmm. Now, you, that's the same thing they're doing today. And this was done even before Jesus Christ was even born. Yes. He hadn't come into the world. Amen. And this is scripture telling them not to do those things because Amen. when you become a new creature God automatically separates you from the things yes. of the world yes. now I know that there may be things you might have to learn along the way yes yes it's a problem. but that's where your evangelists that's where your prophets that's yes. where your pastors that's where your bishops your apostles your elders are supposed to teach you yes. the ways of God yes. but the the interesting thing about being born again is the spirit of God within you yes. it wants to be fed the things of God oh, yes, it needs good. the word to be fed inside yes. of the soul yes. so that you can walk uprightly before God yes. without it you will fail so all yes. of you preachers that are out there allowing this to happen you are not born again mm, all right now all right awesome teaching evangelist Tony Yes, we must uh, learn from our leaders, learn from the Word of God, and the key is being not just a hearer of the Word. Come on now. But when you become born again, you become a doer of the Word. You apply what the Word says to Amen. your life Amen. every day. It must be a daily 
walk. Amen. Hallelujah. Reading Amen. your word, meditating Amen. on your word, Amen. and applying it to all those situations. Because how many know the enemy, he desires to sift us as we. Amen. But we must know that the word should be our guide. The word is powerful if we apply it. And as new creatures, as we said earlier, we're talking about being born again. <clears throat> Excuse me. As new creatures who are born again, we must live according to the word of God, not according to the flesh. Amen. Not according to our agendas or what our neighbors think or our spouses think. Yes, we should love them, but the word of God, hallelujah, must be paramount in our walks as Amen. new creatures in Christ. Amen. Let me read this real quick. I told yes. you, he's sitting up here talking, boy, while we sitting up here, <laughs> while we're talking. Now, and, and she read some of it. I'm going to start off reading John 3 and 3 for you. Yes. Now, listen to us. Don't play with yourself and don't play with God. Yes. If you have not received the spirit of God, you better let it alone. Hello. Because your soul is at stake. Amen. Get real with God. Real. How and some real? amazing things yes. inwardly would happen to you. Yes. Let me read this real fast. First John 3 and 3. It said, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. No. Nicodemus said unto him, who was a ruler, how can a man be born when he is old? Can yes. he enter into the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus answered, said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water. Yes. And of the spirit yes. is my point. Of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now, you've got the water. You've got two waters. You got the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Because out of your belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Of water. Yes. And then you got the baptism of water, which was the outward uh, show of putting away the flesh. So yes. you got, you can't, some people got the baptism of the Holy Ghost before they even got baptized in water. Yes, yes. The most important is the baptism of the Holy Ghost, but yes. you have to have both. Baptism water, baptism of the Holy Ghost, and the most important in order to even see the kingdom yes. is the Spirit of God. Yes, the Spirit of God. Yes, yes, yes. And as you were speaking, Evangelist, I was thinking about um, how important it is for us to know that we know that we know that the, the Holy Spirit dwells on the inside of us because that's where our power comes comes in. You know, without the Holy Spirit, we don't have the power to resist temptation. Without the power of the Holy Spirit, no. we, w we wouldn't be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. No. And how many know that the wiles of the devil, we could not, we wouldn't even be able to uh, resist. We wouldn't be able to even have a, a thought about doing the right thing <coughs> according to the word of God. That's right. So uh, the word of God, the spirit of God, that's our, those are our power sources. That's right. And I thank God that those are weapons. Hallelujah. Amen. Weapons of our warfare. So once you become this new creature, hallelujah, you've got to remember who you are in your spirit. It's all about the spirit. Amen. 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 That's Tony, right. That it's is all right. about that is right. being indwelled by the That's spirit right. of God. Hallelujah. That's right. And I love the way Evangelist Tony broke down um, being born of water and of the spirit. Hallelujah. Water, being baptized. Amen. And then and being filled with the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Ghost. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. Are you Holy Ghost filled on today? Hallelujah. All right. Are you struggling? Hallelujah. With your All flesh? Right. Well, I just challenge you, if you're one of those people, Amen. to surrender to the Amen. power of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Huh? Let <laughs> him enter your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. And you will have that change. Amen. And you'll have the power That's right. to resist the enemy. Hallelujah. I say amen. Let's go to Galatians 5. Yes, Galatians Real quick. 5. Galatians okay. 5. We want to, she said something. I told you when she's talking, God is talking at the same time. Yes. So let's go to Galatians 5. Galatians 5. And we want to see the evidence. The evidence of you being born again. Yes. This is the evidence which I'm going to show you. Yes. Now I'm going to show you the evidence how you was before you came oh. to know God. All right. Then I'm going to show you the proof that you have been born again. Yes. Now the first we're going to go to is Galatians 5, 19. Yes. Get your Bibles. I'll give you a few seconds to fill it up. 
519. First of all, thank all of you for joining us here today. Yes, yes. I'm on the set with Evangelist Janice, and we are talking about being born again. And yes. we're so happy that you took the time out to even join us yes, on this yes. set because we're not we're not playing around oh, no. we're here to give you the instructions you need to get the power of God yes. the anointing of God yes. we're not like some of the people uh, like I, I saw somebody yesterday was on there called they said preaching and they didn't say nothing to help those people they was hollering and screaming and having a good old time mm -hmm. and he kept saying it's coming it's coming it's coming it's all coming right, all right and i'm like what in the world is he talking what's coming what then coming? he kept saying the anointing is coming the anointing is coming he does have no clue as to mm -hmm. what the anointing is mm -hmm. but anyway let's get into this you should have your bibles now galatians 5 19 says now the works of the flesh mm -hmm. Now, this is what you did before you got saved. Yes. Are manifest, which are these. Some of you all committed adultery, fornication. You were unclean in mind, yes. spirit, and flesh. Yes. And some was in less seriousness, yes. which is almost the highest of, of lust that you can go. Yes. Some of you were so lustful, you couldn't even stop doing what you were doing. Yes. I'm not talking yes. about sex, because most people think when you talk about lust, they're talking about sex. Some of you lust for money. Some of you mm. lust for clothes. Teach, teach. Some of you lust for wealth. Some yes. of you lust for prestige. Many mm. lust have so many different categories, you wouldn't believe it. Go look up and find the word lust. Idolatry. Some of you always idolatry. Baseball yes. games, football games. Wouldn't go to church because your game is on television. Yes. Washing your cars on Sundays, mm. taking your children out to the to the to park on Sundays when you should be at church. Now we all know that Sunday was a day that the Pope and them ordered for people to have worship service on Sundays, yes. Yes. but originally so it was the seventh day. Yes, the seventh. Not Saturday. Because Saturday is a pagan name. Mm -hmm. It was the seventh day. Mm. And go back yes. and study and you'll find that. And it says, uh, um, uh, lascivious idolatry, witchcraft. Amen. Some of you thinking about this witchcraft where people's got these tall yes. hats on mm -hmm. their head and a long nose. No, 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 no. Some you men are in witchcraft. Some women are in witchcraft. Yes. Will seduce a man till a man come to nothing. Yes. Amen. Take everything That's he's got. It, yes. Hallelujah to God. And then there are real witchcraft where people do incantations mm -hmm. and can yes. cause a, a, a harm to you, bodily harm yes. to you. Yes. These things are real. Oh, when yes. you go to Africa, you will see these things. Yes. They are really, yes, they really are real. real. But real. you American people, y'all don't see stuff like that. <laughs> now, this is what you did when you were in your flesh. You hated your variance. Variance means you separated yourself from people, thought you were better than somebody All else. Right now. Emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. I'm going to keep going. Envyings, murder, drunkenness, revelings. And such like. Now watch that word, such like. Mm -hmm. There are more things, in other words, that's not written that you do that is wrong. Amen. That you did do. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not, shall not, shall not, not. inherit the kingdom of God. Yes. Why you keep doing stuff like that and then say, uh, when somebody tell you about it, are oh, you judging? When the scripture oh, says, if you do these now. things, you ain't going to in inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Now, let us go find out what you're like after you did your witchcraft, after you did your adulteries. Here's what you're like. It says, but the fruit of, yes, the, spirit the, fruit of the spirit is Hallelujah. love. Yes. Love means you can take anything. All right. You can take a lot of stuff that you normally Ooh, couldn't take. You're teaching. You're teaching. And then it right said exactly. joy. Yes. Joy. No matter what happens in your life, you don't lose that happiness in God. Yes. And then it's talk about peace. Mm -hmm. No matter what happens in your life, it will not disturb your mind to the point yes. that you want to give up on God. Hallelujah. Long suffering goes along yes. with love because now you're able to take things that you couldn't take from somebody. When you cuss somebody out, right. now you suffer with that person talking to you bad. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fight them. That's now, right. watch the next fruit. It says gentleness, gentleness. goodness, goodness. Faith. faith, meekness, meekness, temperance. 
Against such there is no law. Now, what is it talking about when it says there is no law? Go ahead, elaborate. Because on. Jesus says there is one thing that hangs everything on the law. Yes. That you shall love your neighbor as yourself. All right. And on the two things, the loving the Lord thy God with all your heart, and then you got to uh, love your neighbor as yourself. If you do those two things, you won't go to hell. All right now. All right. <laughs> that shows you how powerful love is. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm reminded of um, how love covers a multitude of faults. You Ooh, know, when people yes. mistreat us, yes. if we are new creatures, we've yes. been born again, yes. and we're operating in that agape kind of love, oh, yes. we can be cursed out. Excuse me, and move on. And move on. And love that person unconditionally amen. in spite of. In spite hallelujah. of, amen. So you said a lot there. The fruit of the Spirit, hallelujah. Amen. amen. Once we become new creatures, once right. we become born again, we should have on the inside of us the fruit of the Spirit. That's right. And we should see the evidence of it That's in the right. way we live. That is right. In what we do and what we say. Hallelujah. That's right. So I love this, this uh, Galatians 5. 21 again 19 to 21 talks about the old man that's right what the old man did hallelujah right. and then galatians 5 22 and 23 Amen. lets us know the different characteristics of the new man the newborn again creature Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. who walks in god's light and has the fruit of the spirit Amen. hallelujah i love this teaching absolutely well listen everybody this this has been a wonderful, wonderful live stream broadcast yes. sitting here with Evangelist Janice. And I have really enjoyed this so very much. And I do thank God for giving us the ability to have what we have and do what yes, we do. Yes. Because all of this equipment didn't come because I was so great to get it. Amen. All of this equipment came because God knew I was going to use my stuff for Hallelujah. the glory of his kingdom. Yes. Amen. But this says we have had a wonderful time. Yes. Now we're going to give uh, uh, Evangelist Janice an opportunity to share with you where you can get in touch with her at. And if she doesn't mind, I'd like to do this next week. Oh, praise God. I would love it. Yes. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Absolutely. There's a lot. There's a lot involved. So here's uh, Evangelist Janice. Praise the Lord. Well, as Evangelist Tony said, I thank God for this opportunity to share with you all the word of God, the good news. Hallelujah. Um, I do a radio broadcast via WYCA. Hallelujah. And you can listen to me live at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time from 7.30 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday evenings. Um, you can listen on your dial at 102.3 FM, or you can listen live on the web by visiting www.rejoice102.com. That's www.rejoice102.com, and you would just click Listen Live. Also, Christ for Life Ministries can be contacted via mail at uh, 430 East 162nd Street, number 185 in South Holland, Illinois, 60473. And last but not least, you can contact me for prayer 24 hours toll free at 866-379-2512. Evangelist Janice Simon with Christ for Life Ministries. God bless you. Amen. And of course, if you want to get a hold to me about anything we've said, you can contact me at rightwayproductions at yahoo.com. Right to spell R-Y-T-E, Way Productions. I mean, you should be able to spell that at yahoo.com. So right to spell R-Y-T-E, Way Productions. So you can contact me. You can get, get, you know, ask a question. I don't care how hard it is, how difficult yes. it is. You can even be negative. You can tell me what you don't like about Amen. what we've said. It's okay for you to be that way because I remember before I got saved, I said negative things yes, about what the preacher said because I didn't understand. Yes, yes. So I understand that there may be things you might say. So anyway, if you like, you can call the studio line, which is 708-247-3047. 
That's 708 247 Evangelist Janice, I thank you for joining me. Yes, thank you for having me, Evangelist Tony. This has really been insightful. Yes, yes. I, I really love the connection. I love the things that have been said. Yes. And I'm inspired to move forward and go greater and greater and greater. But on that note, I always um, like to say, before I go off the air, many of you know, for the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal but they are mighty through God yes. to the pulling down of strongholds. Yes. And believe me you, there are many of you that say you belong to God that's got strongholds in your yes. life, but you keep listening to this program and I guarantee you they are coming down. Amen. Because we're not giving you anything else but the Spirit of God yes. through, his word. through His Word. God bless you everybody. We'll God see you next you. week. Same time. Around 11, between 11, 11.30. Yes. And we'll, we'll stay in vain of being born again. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And bless God you. bless you. Ah!